So, welcome back. 93 hours into the game, we are at LeBlanc Coffee and we have... Uh, what happened? Well, a lot has happened. You should check out the previous stream for my channel. And um, in short, what needs to happen now is that the school festival starts. So, the school festival is beginning tomorrow. All we have to do now is go to sleep and wait for tomorrow to come. And a big story, a big, like, important thing about the festival is that tomorrow there will be a guest, a guest of our school festival to be interviewed at school. And this person happens to be Akechi, who also is an investigator, a young investigator who is trying to prosecute the Phantom Thieves, uh, charge them as guilty for many things, but not the recent murder that has occurred. Um, so, in a way, he seems to have a good grasp of what the Phantom Thieves have done and didn't do, really. So, um, perhaps he may turn out to be an ally towards the end of, these, of this story. Because currently, things are really looking quite gloomy for uh, the Phantom Thieves. Um, we're being framed and charged, well, charged. We're being... I think, yeah, the police is looking for us, I think. That's what the story is. And, um... They are looking for us for the murder of our last target, which we didn't kill, but that was the story. We didn't kill, somebody else did, but we don't know who did it. We don't know how to get back to this person, I mean, get back at this person, and it's a bit of a mess, really. Situation is really dire. We hope that tomorrow we will be able to um, get some more information and have finally have a lead in regards to who this person might be. Let me talk to these kids, because why not? Are you the Phantom Thieves really murderers? Everyone's saying that, even my crime school teacher says the Phantom Thieves are bad guys. Really? Man, I never should have thought they were cool, I feel so dumb now. I catch you it's totally cooler than them, I hope you can catch the bad guys. Yeah. Where can we go? Maybe spend time with Oya? You fool me? Tell you what, I could spend some time with the Fumi, why not? Good evening. The gold key to Victor. The gold key. Victory lies in retreating. This means at times retreating is an effective strategy in order to attack with your nest move. It may be good for you to remember that as well. If it's alright with you, let's play a match. Tell you what, let's just go with her because why not? I look forward to it. Not much happening. I can sense her dedication to Shogi. Shogi? Shoji? Shogi. Oh, that's right. I have something for me I like. I should give it to her as a gift. No, I hate giving girls gifts. Ah, <sighs> a uh, fan with a bright sakura pattern on it. Ah. Uh. A limited box set of 2,000 of the best musical pieces. Perhaps she will like classical music, right? Classical hits? Come on, she seems to be the sort of boring person that likes classical. Let's go with that. What should I do? Um. Oh, thank you, I appreciate you. Oh, man. That was awful. That was awful. I think I need to end the stream tonight, guys. That was too cold for me to bear. Embarrassing. She didn't like it very much. And my popularity is dropping. 23%. Everybody hates us now. Which brings us back to the beginning of the story, really. Here we go. The festival seems to be a success. 
definitely a lot more people than last year. There are maids in the back. I see two maids in the back. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catch you as a guest. Presents are hard, yeah. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. Right. What do you normally do at a school festival? Bless you. Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no rules. Remember when we went to the beach before? Why not go about it like that? Yeah, but we need to stay on our toes. No, no, let's just enjoy yourself like normal people. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. Aww. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. You know what? I know I sound a bit weird, right? I know this sounds a bit like I'm trying to really nitpick the plot here, but I don't I'm not nitpicking, I'm just trying to be logical, right? If I am a policeman, an investigator in plain clothes hanging out in the school, and I see a group of friends, a little group of friends, composed by this, you know, the main protagonist, which is a guy that has arrived to town with a very, you know, suspicious timing. Whenever the main character, Joker, me, has arrived to town, the mental breakdown started and everything else started. This person is hanging out with Yusuke, who was, you know, who was one of the pupils of, uh, what's his name, Madarame? which had one of those changes of art. These people are hanging out with the sister of the persecutor. These people are also hanging out with Anne, who is a dear friend, well, who is also a student of the school where Kamoshida was, who is happening to hang out with the daughter of Okumura, who has just been killed, supposedly, by the Phantom Thieves, who is hanging out with this little strange hacker girl that doesn't come to the school. So... I mean, it doesn't take a genius. These are the Phantom Thieves, right? I mean, there's a lot. Like, if anyone was actually looking at paying attention to the groups at school, they would understand that this is a lot of people strangely connected to the Phantom Thieves' acts and to the Phantom Thieves' targets. So this is sort of the common, den the common denominator? Common denomin... Fuck it, I don't know what it is. But, you know, do the maths. Do the maths. These, these are the people. These are the phantom thieves. Done. I should be an investigator. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <sighs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone and eat at the refreshment stands. Well, it'll be a nice change of pace. A lot of nasty stuff's continued lately. Mm-hmm. Shall we head off to the stands then? Now let's do it. Let's okay. clean them up. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good. From what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. Oh. Maid Takni. What? Maid Takoyaki. Takoyaki, yeah. 
New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Nice. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Uh oh. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Oh. Do they really do this at school? In Japan, is this a thing? That's adorable. That's nice. I can't believe they actually set these things up. Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry, we're out of cod, bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. Damn. That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh. Oh, I can see that. Yuji, you're making a scene. Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Mm -mm. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. <laughs> On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. Hmm. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. Hmm. We plan on stealing intel, but we may fall into another trap. Hmm, that is possible, actually. We won't let that happen. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechi Kun is planning. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, it's fresh made. Lies. I heard a microwave go off. Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Ah. Uh. One of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude. Don't tell me the Russian part means... Yeah, it's spicy or there's alcohol. It's like going for the obvious one is manly. Is that so? Well, I prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. <laughs> oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Does it have vodka? going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? No. Oh, 
you sure? All right, then I'll just help myself to it. Not! Oh, everyone's all here. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. Hmm. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. But... It's fine. Hmm. It's quite the... is a bad idea. Oh. My throat. This is Oh, my stomach. I'm I'm fine. I just love uh spicy spicy stuff. <laughs> Hey, does he sound broken to you? Well then, I'll... I'll see you, uh... T -t -t tomorrow Aw, oh, poor thing. Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. <laughs> but... Did he truly come to simply check the venue? Yeah. This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. No, you're right. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just imagining things. Yeah, he said, oh, you're all here. Hmm. That's true, he said that. Oh man! When he arrived at the table, he said, You're all here. So he meant all the Phantom Thieves. I mean, we know that he spotted us uh, entering the metaverse when we first entered the Fifth Palace. He was there behind the corner and he totally saw us. So we can just assume it's, it's normal to assume that he is aware of our identity of being the Phantom Thieves, but perhaps he didn't share this information with Sai Nijima. We don't know that. Hey Jay, welcome to the stream, good to see you man. Ah, the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously, I think I'm a star now as I'm after midterms. I didn't mind any of that, I just love seeing that detective go down the special takoyaki. <laughs> I had fun as well since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now? How? Walk, walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with the Kichikuns again tomorrow. I have to agree. What will this next move be? You know what I think he's going to do? I think that tomorrow, in the middle of a speech to the old school, he's going to announce that the Phantom Thieves are at well school. Then. Tomorrow, the moment of truth, I catch his panel. That's right. Okay. All we can do now is hope Makoto does well at tomorrow's panel. Hey. And we can't do much else. Nice. Let's go to sleep then. Oh no, television. 
the Prime Minister has still been unable to form an effective plan to counter the Phantom Thieves. Criticism against them is not only coming from the opposition, but from the ruling party as well. If the ruling party does bleed, then a snapple action may be a real possibility. I don't know much about politics, but it sounds like there's a lot going on in the government. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll work out, so let's go to sleep. Oh well. This game is so intense on the political themes. Like, there's so much politics in the game and I love it. Well then, we will now begin today's panel. By the way, these students are so elegant. The checkered burgundy skirts, that's nice. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. I feel kind of bad considering how many people have gathered. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. How much do you think he knows? He knows a lot. He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? Hmm. 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 Makoto is trying to grill him, but really, he is just dodging everything. And also, you know, quite dismissive and not really saying anything that we didn't know yet. I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. <sighs> Excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Hmm. Akechi is already going straight for it. He's already going straight to the point. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Yeah, that there is an inconsistency. Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that, that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. Mm -hmm. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Ha uh ha. -huh. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? I think it's gonna say it. I think it's gonna say that they are at the school. Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing! Shut up, Yuji. Don't overreact. Hype down! 
He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? He may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? Oh, look at her. She pretty much admitted being part of it because she didn't go straight in for the question. It's only my personal opinion, so announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. Hmm. The truth? What's he planning on saying? He's gonna say that the Phantom Thieves are from the school. No, there's no way he could have any evidence. Of course he does. He spotted us. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are. He. <laughs> oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in 10 minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Uh oh. Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. Damn. Damn is putting us with our back against the wall. What do you want to talk about? Gotta be shocked. I have video footage too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too. Yes. Two? Is that the people? It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world too. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the NAV. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. Should I admit it? Oh man. I'm not gonna admit it because he may be recording this. I'll take your silence as comfort. Shut up. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone! I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. Oh man, yes. For real? The lead we were so desperately going after. Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. 
Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He has a large smile. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. Fucking hell. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? This cat. Uh oh. I swear it just talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. Shit. We go in the metaverse, we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an MO. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake. Which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Hmm. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Yeah, right? Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the those are the ones who are putting pressure on sai -san. I can only imagine her impatience. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you Phantom Thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established.
Zaisan can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just because they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone, though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. Okay. Okay, so these are... These are the... These are the terms. These are the terms of surrendering. Surrender. Surrender. Surrendering. Surrendering. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. This is the terms of the table. What should we do about Akechi san's proposal? I see. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel, correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us!
Hey, they're going. What's what's going on? I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. So, I truly apologize about this. But I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation. But I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Boo. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. I mean, he is a lot smarter than us. Let's admit it. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. Well, it always ends up like this. We haven't been able to keep it on the rats since the beginning of the game. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? Could you please. What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. There's not much that we can do, really. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. Why did Futaba have something like this? When did he see that? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover, I knew it. She's... Oh, God. The post-festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Thinking about what a Ketchikun said. <laughs> it feels like nothing bad could ever happen when you say that.
caring? I never knew we had such an event. All right, who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? No? I'll just have to pick someone then. Oh, he's going to choose? I wonder who it would be. <laughs> 